Okay, so downloading and installing Blender and setting it up to work with the Giants editor. All right, so link in description. You're going to come here. You're going to download Blender 4.3.2. Follow the instructions. There is nothing fancy to that. I believe if you have previous blenders installed, um, then you need to choose which one. Obviously, it's 4.3.2. So once that is downloaded and installed, we're going to open it up and we'll have a quick look. So when if you're new to it, it should look just like this. I haven't changed any settings for how it opens. <clears throat> you can modify it and set it up the way you want it but i don't bother uh, and i'm very new to this all right very new to this i've always been scared of blender there's no real reason real reason to be scared of it because it's it's pretty simple so long as you follow instructions well which is what i try to do uh, and interpret things the right way as opposed to the wrong way that's always helpful. So um, once you've got your blender installed, the next thing you need to do is you need to go back to what you should now have is your account for the Giants Developer Network. And then you're going to come in here and you need to install a plugin. All right. And you need to install the Blender Export plugin. It's version 10.00 it's for farming simulator 25 um, that is as of December 2024 it may have changed by the time you're watching this but at the moment it hasn't obviously so you just click on it download it it basically self installs to blender alright then you're gonna come into blender and you're going to go to edit then you're going to go down to preferences and then we're just going to type in here i3 and it will come up here giants i3d exporter tools make them um, open like this obviously i've already got it installed what you want to make sure is this box here is checked with the little tick and once you've got that done we can export our files as i3d giants see here so you click on the little tab that's up here and then it will open up and you'll have giants i3d exporter just here and you can you have to every time choose where you want the file to go um, I it would be nice if it was preset but at the same time if you're working on multiple projects you could save one into the wrong file so it's probably better that you have to choose where you want it to go every time as opposed to it being set up ready but yeah, you just come in, you uncheck that, and then you go and find your file, wherever it happens to be, and then, but we'll, we'll cover that when we get to actually using it, okay? So that is that, that is Blender. Now the next thing that we're gonna look at is QGIS. And I'm covering both of these in the same video, just so that we don't have to do multiple videos to get you up to speed so we're going to come to QGIS and we're going to go on to here and we've got it here links in the description and like I said before we want the latest version for Windows currently 3.40 going to install that going to follow all of its palaver we're going to install everything 
and then you're going to get a folder which has got these six things in. We're only really interested in the 3.40.1, these two. I'm not sure what all these other ones do. I have not used them, but they are obviously important to the system and how it works. So we want to open up QGIS. And once it's opened, then you'll be seeing for the first time, it'll be like this for the first time. So we get rid of that because we don't really need it. And then you're going to come up here. And it took me a long time to work this out. But once I finally did, I was golden. So you come up to web and then you go to quick map services and you come on here and you see all these here they're not there when you install it okay what you need to do is you need to go to settings click on it and it open up and then you want to go to more services then click on git contributed pack we'll click on that last version of contrib pack was downloaded okay thank you and then you go save and then when you come back up here, you'll have all of these. Now this is important because you need this and then you will need this. Google and then Google Satellite. It took me a long time to work out how to get this and once I did because there was no there was no instruction. I couldn't find any instruction how to do it. So I'm, I'm telling you because you're going to need to know and I didn't want to just come in here and go da 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 this is how you do it and then there was no explanation you'd be like what the hell Seaber <laughs> so yeah that's that's what you need to do all right and that is QGIS that is all we need to do with this really to achieve what we <laughs> we need to so it's a lot of it's a, I mean you can explore it and work stuff out but that's all we need it for all right so that is those two that's blender and qgis and then next up we're not going to be covering gimp i'm just going to presume that you know how to use it when i do go into it i will explain how to do the things that i'm doing when i'm doing it which is probably the better way or else we could be into a whole new tutorial game for that Notepad++ is very simple, um, so there's there's nothing really to explain there until we start using it. Uh, and then the Google Map, when that's also very simple, so there's no need to do any any. This is how you do this, because when we get to it, I will show you how to do it. Okay, so that's it. Those are the programs. They should all be in installed now, and we are going to be ready to use this new app, which I'm waiting to tell you about. In the next video, you will know about it.